Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with the greatest recordings ever. And today we're talking about Bach's Goldberg variations. Oh, my goodness. So I have to do a little bit of forestalling before we open up a whole can of worms, don't I? Because I'm going to give you a recording. And you're going to look at the recording and then you're going to say, well, what about blah? Or what about who? Or what about this? Or what about that? Why isn't it that one the best? Well, this is not the best. This is the greatest recordings ever made. The Goldberg Variations have been recorded by about 30 bazillion keyboardists and ensemblists and other people. And there are probably two dozen that rank as the greatest recordings ever made. And I'm not talking about those other two dozen. I'm talking about this one. There may be more Goldberg Variations greatest recordings ever in this series. I mean, why not? Because we are collectors. And the whole point in collecting is that we find the best versions and we collect them. You know, this isn't about there just being one and only one. Dun, da, 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 one and only one. No, no, no. There's lots of them. And some of them are just amazing because there are many, many fabulous artists who have done astounding work in the music of Bach. So can we all be clear about that? All right, we all like totally on one page now. So you don't have to panic, relax. We might do more Goldberg variations at some point when we get up to, you know, you know, the 10,000th video in this particular series. But for the moment, for the moment, the greatest recording ever, one of them, of the Goldberg variations, is this one, Murray Pariah. Yeah, Murray Pariah on Sony. Now, I have to say, when this came out, it was greeted with near universal rapture. Now, I know, I mean, I was looking around, and I know in various, like, chat rooms where the, the Bach hoo-hoos or the piano loonies hang out, they were like, oh, well, you know, there's a wrong note in measure 56 of the 35th variation, and no, there aren't 35 variations, but you know what I mean. You know, or something happens, the recording doesn't do this, or the microphone was, you know, under his chair, or he had a belch, or, you know, people can nitpick all they like. But the general consensus when it came to this recording was that it was stupendous, and it is stupendous. First of all, I'm going to be very, very general, totally general. It's gorgeous. The piano tone is singing and beautiful. It's not a harpsichord. It doesn't have that clackety, clackety, clackety sound, you know, that can, like, make you insane. It, it, it really is just just a beautiful recording of an artist with a fine singing tone and fantastic artistic sensibilities. And the, the lady with the vacuum cleaner is, is approaching. I'm sorry about that. There isn't anything I can do. Nothing. Anyway, the bottom line is, when this came out, I was thrilled. And just about all of my colleagues were thrilled. And everyone I know who heard it loved it. And so, you know, why not just say it's great? because the, the general consensus is that it really is great. Uh, there are beautiful, beautiful moments here. I mean, Pariah has a way of, of grouping the variations to create maximum contrast, a sense for larger structure. Uh, just, uh, you know, it's coherent, but also colorful and characterful. The last pile of variations, you know, leading into the quote libet, I mean, just, just brilliant and uninhibited, but also, but also so, so musically satisfying. I mean, I, I, it's just a glorious recording of the Goldberg Variations. And I have to say, um, it, I have this particular version of it is in the Murray Pariah Plays Bach box on Sony, all of which is worth having because his Bach is, is, just, is just phenomenal. And he's not known, you know, as a Bach pianist particularly, but he's done some of the best Bach out there. His partitas were amazing. They really are. And uh, so I just want to quote my dear colleague, Jed Disler, who wrote the excellent, excellent booklet note. Um, and what he says about the Goldbergs, wait a minute, it's because I just can't say it better. I really cannot. Since its initial release in 2000, what was it that long ago? 24 years ago? Gosh, I feel so old. Pariah's recording of the Goldberg Variations has held forth as the piano version of reference. Aha! An interpretation that comes vividly alive on many levels. Pariah carefully shapes smaller groups of variations to form expressive arches. See? We agree there. 
while his witty yet discreet embellishments and changes of voicing draw attention to the music, not the pianist. Few other performances, for instance, stress the canon at the octave's lilting melodic core, pointing up its resemblance to Jesu Joy of Man's Desiring, or transition from the toccata-like ebullience of Variation 29 into Variation 30's Quodlibet, without sacrificing cumulative momentum. So you see, Jed Nike sort of heard similar things in this performance, actually. And uh, I, I, it is, it, it, they're facts. These are not like, you know, opinions. This is what he does. It's an absolutely splendid, glorious piano version of the Goldberg Variations. And maybe we'll do a harpsichord version in a little bit too, just, just for fun. So keep on listening, friends. Thanks so much for joining me. Take care. <laughs>